Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can install GIMP on a Chromebook. My Chromebook's about three years old. I got it at Costco for about maybe $220. And so if you can do it on this one, you can probably do it on anything newer than that at least. So I've opened up my settings and what we want to do is enable Linux apps. And so we'll just go ahead and turn those on. And that'll install the software in the background so that you can run Linux apps. So next that opens up a section of terminal. If it doesn't for you, you can just go into all of your apps and search for terminal. And there's only two things that we need to type into there. So let's see, I'll go to my Google Docs here. And there they are. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And then jump back into terminal and paste. There we go. And just hit return. And this takes just a little while to do. Okay, now that that's done, we'll just jump back in here and copy this command. Jump back into terminal and paste. And there we go. <clears throat> Ask us if we want to continue and we say yes. And again, this takes a little bit of time. So with that completed, let's go ahead and go into all of our applications. And there's our Linux apps. It includes GIMP. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is version 2.8, at least currently. And then under Windows, we want single window mode. And then let's see if we can find our tools, or excuse me, under Windows, we want a new toolbox. So with our tools in place, I'm just going to go ahead now and just sort of pull this over a little bit. And then as far as coming up with the other windows go, Probably want layers, which shows up over here. And let's see, what else we're we gonna want? Paths. And any of the other dialog boxes that you would like to use. Let's say brushes. And then again, you can take and kind of sneak this over like so. And then just go through the different tabs like you would in the desktop version. Other than that, this is GIMP. It's the full-blown version. It's not something that's dumbed down. It's not a phone app or an iPad app. This is GIMP, and it runs on a Chromebook. Next, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install 2.10. Next, we're going to install the latest version of GIMP using an application called Flatpak. And it's essentially the same process using Terminal, but there are four commands rather than two, but it's worth it. So I'll go ahead and copy that, and then I'm going to open up Terminal, and then I'll paste that command, then hit Enter, and again, it just takes a little while to work. While that's grinding away, I'm going to come back and copy the second command, Jump back into terminal and paste. Hit return. Do I want to continue? Yes. And while that's working, I'm going to come in and grab all of this here. Don't worry about the text wrap, just copy it all. 
and then we'll paste, hit return. And then finally, the last command, copy back into terminal, paste, and then yes. Okay, with that complete, let's go back into all of our apps here and come into our Linux amps and launch GIMP 2.10. Now, whether you're using the Chromebook version or the Linux version, the Mac version, or the Windows version, doesn't really matter. It's all going to pretty much look the same. So let's first of all make sure that we have single window mode enabled, and we do. So then to kind of get it so that it's at least the way I like it, you can set it up any way you want. Go to Edit, choose Preferences. And the first thing I like to do is under tool options, I want to make sure that they're ungrouped or maybe that's someplace else. Let's go to our theme first. And I like the light theme, it just shows up better. And then for my icons, I liked colored icons, just a little bit easier to tell which one is which. For my toolbox, this is where I do not want to use tool groups. You can if you want. What it does is it nests all these different tools into different groups. And to me, I don't care for that. So I'll go back into my preferences and uncheck that. And then under icon theme, I like larger icons. So I'm going to choose custom icon size and click on large and see what that looks like. Yeah, maybe we'll go to medium. Again, it's just a personal preference thing. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And then up here, you know, just as before under Windows, you can go ahead and choose to open up any of these. For example, uh, I don't think we have brushes selected. So you can add that to the dock here. I haven't found a way to take and make this text size larger. I did some research on it and involves some coding, um, but I don't think you can do that with the desktop version as well. It just kind of naturally adapts. But in any event, here you have the latest version of GIMP operating on a Chromebook. To me, that's just fantastic.